Most of us just think that cramming is bad because you don't have enough time to absorb the information. And this is actually not the main problem. Knowing the reasoning behind it can actually help you eliminate a lot of the negative outcomes. What distributed practice would look like is that you would study a little bit at a time until your test. Cramming would look like this. You do nothing, 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 boom, a ton of studying, and then you have your test. The real reason why this is good and this is bad is because of something called context and state dependent memory. For context dependent memory, if you're learning the information in a similar environment to where you're gonna take the test, you'll remember the information better than you would otherwise. State dependent memory works the same way except for your internal states. And the reason that distributed practice is so much better is because you're encoding information across multiple environments. Think of each time you study as a lottery ticket and the lottery is the test. The more tickets you have, the more likely you are to win the lottery, yay. In cram practicing, you only get one ticket. All you need to do to solve all of your cramming problems is just make this look like this and cram in multiple environments. Follow me to make school suck less.